What's going on everybody, it's uh, James again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run Shenmue on your Android phone or Android tablet. This is done through emulation with the fantastic emulator, Raycast. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to do this video because I've been showing photos of this game running on my, uh, my cell phone, which is the HTC One. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to give you a uh, brief how-to. It's actually really, really simple. Alright, so... Here we go. Alright guys, this is what you gotta do. So, get your Android, cell phone, or tablet. Um, I'm running the HTC One. And go to your Play Store. Search Raycast and you'll get this screen, right? It's the one you want. And uh, hey, it's me right there, of course, writing a five-star review for this program because it's awesome. So you're going to click install. Mine says open only because I have already downloaded and configured this emulator. Uh, so once you do that, Raycast will be installed to your phone. Now we have to go over to the computer and do a couple of things. So what you want to do now is connect your phone or tablet via USB, Firewire, um, or Bluetooth, whatever connection medium you like to use. I prefer USB because uh, I run debugging stuff on this phone for certain things and USB provides a good debugging tool. So now all we got to do is go over to the computer, which uh, I have here. Let me just focus so you guys can actually see it. All right. So uh, first off, this image was by Ricardo Valverde, Riken Productions on DeviantArt. Awesome stuff. So what we need is, um, first off, we need to see the requirements for Raycast, which we can find here. So what it says there highlighted is that the minimum system requirements are Cortex A9 dual core, one gigahertz is the minimum hardware for decent speeds. Um, the HTC One uh, is a dual core, uh, you know, Snapdragon processor, which um, my phone exceeds the minimum requirements. It runs pretty much everything at full speed with any slowdown, pretty much being just because of the emulator, not the phone itself. Uh, and we do need the Dreamcast BIOS. Uh, I'm going to lead you through all that. Okay, so one thing I need to stress, or two things I need to stress enough actually are, for one, um, I'm not going to tell you where to get the DC BIOS or the Shenmue ISOs from because that's illegal. Um, DC BIOS you can rip from your Dreamcast or you can search Google uh, and then the Shenmue ISOs you can either rip from your Dreamcast and learn how to convert Shenmue ISOs to playable CDR ISO format or um, you know just Google Shenmue ISO and you'll pretty much find it. Okay so I have my uh, my phone connected here and I have already downloaded my DC BIOS. So what I need to do is, um, so my phone doesn't have any external SD, uh, SD slot, so we have internal memory only. So we go in there. In the root folder, we're going to have a folder called DC. And in there, we have a data folder. And you're going to copy and paste these files, uh, DC boot and DC flash, which these are the boot ROM and the flash ROM for the Dreamcast. These allow your Dreamcast uh, system to actually work in the emulator. Uh, so yeah, make sure you get those. I use the NTSC uh, flavor of BIOS and it seems to work fine. I also use a dev BIOS depending on you know what I'm doing with the Shenmue ISOs. So, and then the other thing we need to do is create an ISO folder for Raycast and the way I do mine is in the same folder that has a data folder I have an ISO folder and in this ISO folder we have copies of Shenmue which I have the Xiaopang Shenmue 1 release which is the Shenmue complete release you'll find online because it has you know the original soda machines and pretty much nothing is ripped out it's as if you're playing on a GD-ROM minus uh, you know, authenticness of playing on a GD-ROM. Shenmue 2 full English speech version by Smith. And of course, what Shenmue, the Balak CDI version. Um, yeah, so all you gotta do is just like go to your source ISO file and uh, copy over the games that you have. Like for me, 
I got, let's see, go to video games. I'm going to turn the screen because I have a lot of stuff that really, um, <laughs> a lot of Dreamcast games. So we go to my Shenmue folder and we have games, uh, hacked, Shenmue Complete Edition. And then I just extracted these ISOs and copied them over. Okay, so once we have the BIOS and the ISO folder in place, that's really all you have to do. Um, so now we can go back to the phone here. That's my, uh, my girlfriend's dog, by the way. His name is Teddy Puppy, and he's adorable. Okay, so I have my emulator, Raycast, right here in emulators, and then Raycast. So now as you see, uh, I have configured this emulator for both touch gameplay and uh, a controller. Um, one thing I need to stress about Raycast, and my controller works fine and everything else, but for some reason, the controller that I use doesn't work in Raycast. It can't read the shoulder buttons. Like, it can read it in when you actually map the buttons, but when you go to play the game, it doesn't work. I'm currently using the Red Samurai controller. Uh, I found that at GameStop, 25 bucks, because I was uh, trying to find a budget controller, and this one seemed the best. Feels pretty good. Works with everything. Uh, the Android OS looks at it as if it was like a keyboard, so you just map it out, similar to like X input or something like that. So, now I have the Shenmue games on here, which is Shenmue 1, Xiao Peng Complete Release, Disc 1, 2, and 3, Disc 1 of Shenmue 2 Full English Speech, and what Shenmue? Um, every version of Raycast since the beta release client of Revision 6, what Shenmue likes to crash randomly? But... Shenmue 1 and 2 seem to be pretty stable. I played Shenmue 1 for a good like 6 hours on this and it's been fine. So I'll just show you it running. Pretty cool. Let's see if uh, I don't remember if I paired the controller yet. No, I haven't. Okay. Yeah, I got a little bit of an awkward setup going on. Uh, one thing is, if you get an error with your memory cards when you first install Raycast, boot the DC BIOS, and uh, all you have to do is just format the memory cards. So, yeah, as you can see. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, so that's really about it. Uh, as long as your phone or tablet is powerful enough, you can you can run Shenmue, no problem. Um, as far as I know, uh, I believe Ben Plato tested this on the Ouya, and it seems to run good on that. NVIDIA Shield has a couple of issues, but they might have been ironed out by uh, at the Revision 6 release. As uh, Yeah. So that's really it. Uh, it's really that simple nothing else to it so you know try it out let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to rate comment favorite and subscribe so then this as always have a nice day